Hey guys, so what I learned was everything that I believed in, which is high-end reserve list cards, did go up in price. And now I'm sitting pretty, and these cards, like the Black Lotus, I have reached all-time highs. Now you might think, oh, why are you looking at a buy list? Well, the buy list is the buy list. It is the last result, and they will be able to pay you, they will be able to cash you out. So this is the bottom of the barrel. Uh, I'm saying that you can sell it to something like a Black Lotus. You can sell in person for far more money. Or even if you went to a live event. Or perhaps that you wanted to sell on eBay or TCG player. Given the risk of being scammed, of course, you can sell it for more. So let's talk a little bit about um, decision making. And I, When I buy the reserve list... Ah, oh, man, they're beautiful cards, and they only go up in price. Holy shit, man. Sometimes they go down a little bit, and that's time to buy. But when I buy, like, other stuff I don't really get, like, I bought maybe half a million dollars of sealed magic boxes and Pokemon boxes. Sealed is not for me. I don't really get it. Um, I didn't really like it, but I went into that FOMO mode. You got Alpha Investments. You got every Poke YouTuber telling you sealed it to the moon. And I bought it, and I don't enjoy having it because it takes a lot of space, and it's really heavy. So I don't love it, uh, and I think it's probably, as I mentioned many times, my worst decision in my whole life, investment-wise, was my buying sealed product, mainly because I don't get it. I, I just simply do not get it at all. Um, now, if, you know, like MetaZoo, for instance, thank God I didn't get that because then I would have bought that. Now I'm trying to buy MetaZoo to company. Do not confuse a company with the card. A card is not an investment a company is. The company that produces the card game is a great investment. And it might even be listed on the S&P 500. Who knows? This, you know, like... Don't listen to like people online. They have no idea. I don't have any idea. Maybe sealed box investing is good for you because you like opening and drafting and you have a local game store that like will buy and pay you out really, really premium prices on boxes, right? I don't have that. I don't have the ability to sell these boxes. I make more as a lawyer, as a small business owner than I do from, you know, Magic the Gathering. So for me, I storage is so, so key. You know, storing stuff and making sure that, um, yeah, I mean, storage is such a important thing uh, in, in my personal life because we're running out of room, we're having a kid, and I live in a huge home, but even a huge home, if you're having a, your first kid, seems smaller. It makes the home seem a lot smaller, right? And when you talk about this as an event, it was just never a good idea. Holy shit, it was not a good idea for me to buy so much. And not just magic cards, not just alpha investment shit. Like Pokemon stuff. Why do I have so many Pokemon sealed? It's fun to open sometimes, but it's just the price of this stuff is so insane. That it's hard. It's harder and harder to justify opening the stuff. Um, I, I like singles. I mean, I always like singles. I like high-end singles. I'm not going to buy your $1, $5 card, but I, I did that. You know, I did. So I made multiple mistakes in kind of my collectible hobby. My journey is I listened to other people on YouTube kind of like this. And at the end of the day, you have to make your own decisions. Every decision I've made that was like Inuyasha or, or even Weiss that I liked, um, I don't regret. Even if, even if the product went down in price like fire emblem cipher like you who knows what that stuff is worth it sells like once every blue moon i don't regret that because that was my decision that i made and i enjoyed opening it i enjoyed having the product and i enjoyed the characters and fire emblem i relate to it i don't relate to just shit tons of boxes in my every single place like everything where i look it's just a shit ton of like boxes of war of the spark modern horizons pharaohs right magic War. Journey to Nyx, Dominaria. I mean, that was not fun, guys. I did not have fun buying this shit. I, I will tell you this. And I hope that you guys really understand what I'm going to say. At the end of the day, if somebody sells you MetaZoo, if Alpha Investment sells you MetaZoo, you should be smart enough not to buy it. You should be smart enough not to buy it. Because as an investment, if, if it's $820, $82,000, 
you know, you look at it and you say, oh, you know, that seems like really high for a booster box, right? I mean, how can that be? You got to make your own decisions. Every decision that I made investment-wise, if it's Facebook, it's PDD, like has gone up. Every decision that I've like watched a YouTuber tell me to buy has gone down. And maybe because that YouTuber like Graham Stefan has like a incentive to scam me because they get promotional money and stuff. And again, like does Alpha Investment have an incentive to sell cards of himself? And Meta? Yeah, MetaZoo, of course he does. To be honest, it's 6.9. That $700 product ain't looking so funny now, is it? You know, today's Joe Biden economy. The, I bet you, you could, everyone could use an extra $700. Some of these Meta efforts were buying, uh, were buying uh, four of them, maybe five of them. Like the goal, like I'm on YouTube right now, and take a look at what was in these packages. It was like mostly Meta Zoo. Did I get hosed? Yeah, you got hosed. The worst mystery box I'll ever open. Even his own subscribe, even the dumbasses who paid money for this product, like their titles indicate Timmy opens box, value goes to zero. Alpha investment six point nine. Rudy Alpha Investment kit, and there's a guy like saying he got host. Resealed scam. I don't know. Maybe that was like who would reseal. Finally open dumpster. Six point nine hits or dumpster fire. Rudy Taco Keeper. I mean, you gotta make these decisions yourself, right? Like I can't make them for. What I've learned is I cannot make these decisions for you. Um. And if you're going to continue to buy this stuff, I can't stop you guys. You're, if you if you buy MetaZoo and you think Nom Nomverse is the next big thing, then like, what can I do, guys? What can I do? Like, I have one investment that's done in the collectible industry that's done really, really well financially, and it's the dual lands. That's it. I own 400, 500, 600 copies of them. Uh, any given time, I'm just accumulating more. And for the most part, you know, I actually want to see them reprinted because I think they could go up price and that it would actually kind of release me from the hold. I also have a shit ton of Diamond Valleys, which makes sense because it's uncommon. But like, I was like, wait, they just like kind of came in these collections. It's like really hard to understand like, like how much shit I have uh, because they because like it's just it's a bought up in a collection. Buy what you know, what you like, and what you enjoy. Do not buy what some dude on YouTube tells you, including myself. If you don't enjoy the reserve list, please don't buy it. If you don't understand it, if you can't take the risk of it being reprinted, and therefore your card's going to zero, don't buy it. Right? Because um, that, that's basically the whole price point of the reserve list is the idea that we're not going to reprint it. So anyway, back to my conclusion here. I'm going to conclude very easily. Uh, at the end of the day, buy what you like and what you believe in and not what I believe in and especially not what Alpha Investment believes in.